everybody this is Jen with Garden Jen's Journey today I'm taking you to look at a special garden area between the storm systems um, we've had quite a few severe storms come through and we've got more coming in fact I hear the rumbling of the thunder so I don't have much time to show you this but I won't take that much time anyway so here is my special garden area so for those of you who don't know or what not what this is, um, this is an area dedicated to growing seed tomatoes. What are seed tomatoes? Well, these tomatoes here are grown specifically for the collection of seed to save and sell back to the community um, to share uh, this crop type. Um, these tomatoes uh, we are growing for Baker Creek. Um, we were selected this year to be one of the new uh, small growers to grow seed crops um, for them. They try to uh, hire um, not just the huge um, crop farmers, but also mom and pop small garden farmers, small farms and things like that who can dedicate some of their space to growing a seed crop for them, meaning a crop to produce seed that they can sell to their consumers. So this year we were uh, selected, like I said, to uh, on a trial basis to grow seed for them. And so we are growing, uh, they selected us to grow tomatoes. So this is uh, our tomato patch and they had to be separated from the rest of the garden by at least uh, 50 feet. So they're over here all by themselves in a brand new garden area. And so uh, we have 50 plants here. Um, they're all doing pretty good. Uh, our garden is five weeks behind. So it's a little concerned um, because for this time of year here in Michigan, these tomatoes are really small. They should actually be almost halfway up the stakes by now, this time of year. But uh, I guess most of the country is five weeks behind, <laughs> so we're not alone. Um, but, you know, we let Baker Creek know what's going on, and um, they're like, just still give it a go, you know. Um, we'll probably get enough tomatoes to reach our quota. So here we are. Um, I have done something a little different than is usually recommended for seed growing uh, because we had to maximize space. Usually when you grow indeterminate tomatoes, you grow one tomato per stake. And then I'll grow up the stake and you do single stem growing, which means you keep it trimmed so that just a single stem of the plant is tied all the way up the stake. To maximize the space, we actually have two plants per stake. We have one on each side. So one thing that we're gonna need to make sure we do is make sure that we continue to maximize the fertilizer and nutrients since there's going to be two plants taking up the nutrients in that space but that shouldn't be too hard to do <clears throat> and then we interplanted the tomatoes with uh, we have basil mostly I have all sorts of different kind of basil interplanted among the tomatoes that'll help um, with some bugs and different things like that and then of course we laid down some straw mulch um, typically, I don't use this landscaping fabric. I hate landscaping fabric. Um, it's a nuisance. But we had to get this bed ready in a hurry. We didn't have the time or the resources to bring in tons of mulch and cover this like I usually do. So um, we did the best with what we had. My husband got some landscape fabric freely given to him. This is actually the erosion control fabric um, that they use when they're doing... Um, work around uh, water or other places to prevent erosion. So he got all that free, so we just laid it down to cover the grass here. And then we mulched with a regular straw mulch around the plants. <clears throat> so again, we kind of had to do with what we had in order to get these uh, in the ground. I'm really excited as I've been looking at these guys. Um, I've actually seen some tomatoes growing on them. Um, let's see if I can find you a plant here. Uh, looking around. 
I saw one which you know I can't find it now that we're we're looking for it so hmm, oh there it is had to step back a minute that beautiful little tomato there so yeah so single stemming means that this stem this one stem here is what we let grow and then anything like this sucker right here will break off and uh, we actually tie these to the stake so they have a just a somewhat of a support to grow up so yeah they're doing really good I love how the basil is looking in here that's Thai basil and we have opal basil let's see what else do we got some more Thai I think that's cinnamon nope these are all Thai uh, have some rosemary tucked in there um, these are flowers that are tucked in here some more rosemary here's some glow basil so yeah it was really really exciting to see these guys grow so that's the update on our Baker Creek garden area as far as the seeds that we are the seed crop that we're growing for Baker Creek this year I will keep you guys updated as these plants grow um, to see how we're doing this year and even if we're so far behind um, if we actually get a nice harvest from them I'm hoping so but like I said the storm is coming through I can hear it rumbling oh, there's some more tomatoes there awesome so again thank you so much for watching everybody I hope your day is blessed wherever you are have a great day everybody bye